Hey, Nico here from nicogogadobulo.com. Thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Uh, you are about to be exposed to some huge, huge value. This morning I had a, a Facebook Live and I recorded five golden nuggets from a 1.5 hour long webinar with eight people, eight industry uh, online marketeers about building your business online and so on. Uh, out of that webinar, I had gotten for myself 25 golden nuggets and I'm sharing in this live call just five of them. Make sure you watch all five of them and then as a surprise and extra bonus because I want to share value, I have included that webinar as well here. So make sure you watch it. If you like that short valuable Facebook live call, uh, Facebook live that I made, make sure you watch the whole webinar and take notes and start applying what they're talking about. It's huge, it's amazing, you're going to have a blast and you're going to change your business if you follow those guidelines. Make sure you watch everything and if you want, reach out to me for more information, I can help you out. Thanks again for watching, enjoy the videos, be good, have fun and God bless. Hello, hello, Nico here from nicobabadobulo.com. I'm inspired to live free and today I'm going to hopefully inspire you too because I'm going to share five golden nuggets I got from a 1.5 hour, hour webinar that was held not very long ago from eight top industry leaders. And uh, this information is very relevant, it's actually expiration free because they are very, they are essential for any business you are building. Not only about online business, but any business. So. Uh, if you need more information about it, just feel free to reach out to me either here on Skype at nickpap 75 I'll be very happy to share more information about you. Actually, I got 25, I got 25 got the nugget points from this webinar and I'm going to share just five with you due to lack of time. Uh, so if you need more, just, just let me know, just reach out to me. Uh, just to remind you a bit about me from my past, I've been in the industry for about three years and on my online career I was failing me miserably. For the three years I believe I was chasing people away badly. Now I understand but I didn't know what I didn't know. So chasing people away does not help you to recruit or to sponsor if you people. I think I sponsored one or two people and now that I think of it I think it was by mistake. But anyway, forget that. The thing is that I know what it means to be bad online. I was very bad. I was totally very, very bad. But because I was bad, I can see the difference. And after very recently being involved with an attraction marketing training system, my life has changed drastically. I mean, I, I'm generating my own leads daily now. And that is totally a game changer, a game changer for me. It's, it's amazing. Anyway, let me get into these um, uh, five nuggets so that you understand the value that there is around and the value that I could share more with you through this uh, webinar. So if you want more, just let me know. Okay, the first one is don't be a professional ongoing student. I was so, <laughs> I was so good as a student, but I was not taking any action. So trying to learn every detail around any social media or, or any strategy or whatever does not really help. Try to learn what's going on and you will learn more by applying more. So taking action, this is huge, make sure you do that. The second thing is uh, remind yourself that there is no competition. You are competing against yourself. You should only compare you with you. Learn something every day, become better every day, and then compare yourself with your yesterday's self. That's the only thing you can do. Do not compete or compare yourself with others. You don't know their full background or what's going on with them, when they started, how bad they failed at the beginning, and this and the other. You only see their results today. Don't, you, you are putting too much stress and too much stress and too much, um, pain and, and it's too much for you, it's too much weight, get away from that, just train yourself, become better, focus on that and you maybe compare yourself with yesterday or last week and so on and so forth, not with anybody else, ok, 
Okay, that was my second one. The third one, and I touched on this last week and I had a blog post about it. Feel free to check it out on my blog at nikobabadoglo.com. Uh, have a solid, a specific DMO, daily method of operation. You need that. Even if you are in a job, you have a DMO possibly bossed by your boss around. Okay, it's not bad to have a boss, especially if you are your own boss. You have your goals, you have your aspirations, you have your targets. You know where you want to go. Have your own self bossing you around with a daily method of operation and be specific with it. Have timers to remind you what you have to do. Let's say you are only, I don't know, let's say reading 10 pages a day in your video team, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. Have a timer not to get away from that. You are prospecting for 10 minutes a day or half an hour per day on Facebook or whatever. Have a timer for that so that you don't get away from that. Okay? Uh, don't get distracted. That's what I'm saying. Uh, for whatever, make sure you are sticking to your schedule. You set the schedule up from the day before and stick to it no matter what. And this leads to the next uh, golden nuggets to eliminate your distractions. Have no distractions. Your phone, your Facebook, your Messenger, your Skype, your whatever. When you are doing what you have to be doing, when you are taking the action that you said you will be taking, kill all the distractions. Kill. If you are reading a book, turn off your phone, your computer, anything. The 5, the 10, the 15, the 30 minutes, whatever you are doing that task, be focused on that task and that task alone. Have another time for your calls, have another time for your callbacks, have another time for your emails, have another time for your messages. You control those distractions and you control your life, you control your daily method of operations, you control yourself, and you are more efficient, more effective, you save time, energy, and things are going to be much, you will be much more productive, much, much more productive. And the last thing, which is huge, it's, it's huge. I know it was huge from before, but the way it's been talked about in this webinar, oh my God, have a vision. Stay for the long run. Have a vision and stay for the long run. Know where you want to go. Make sure you understand where you want to go. Make sure it's big and it's going to pull you. Don't push yourself to it. Let it pull you there. Make sure you know where you want to go. Um, and, and this is a learning curve. There is a learning process, a learning curve. And that's why you need to be improving yourself and, and learning and applying as you learn so that you will go there. This is a business and it's not a joke. Your business is a business and it's not a joke. Okay. Treat it seriously with respect, with consistency on your daily method of operation. Tweak and improve things as you go along and you learn and become more experienced, but stay in for the long run. Stay in for your vision. Otherwise, you lost everything. Otherwise, you go back to square zero. I wouldn't even say square one. You go back to square zero. So, these are the five nuggets I have for you today. I uh, hope you like them. hope they do inspire you as well. Uh, I'm pumped up with this webinar. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I got 25 golden nuggets from this thing that uh, lasts for about an hour and a half. It's huge. It's amazing. The energy in there and the experience around, it's, it's, it's amazing. If you want to learn more about that, just feel free to reach out to me either here on Messenger or on Skype at nickpap 75 Feel free to have a look at my website, nikobabadoglo.com. I'll be very happy to connect with you and help you out with your business and help you achieve your life's objectives and make you uh, be inspired to live free as well. Thanks for watching. Be good, have fun, and God bless. Hello, people. Please let me know when you can see me and when you can hear me. Please put it in the chat. I would appreciate it. So I don't talk to myself like I do on a regular basis. <laughs> I don't need to do any more of that. So guys, welcome to the Gold Nugget Blitz. This is absolutely crazy. Look at the panel, guys. This is insane. Thank you, Jelena. I can't give shout outs. Too many people are popping in every minute here. 
But I guess I'm going to just basically say what the scenario is today, the plan. I'm not going to be doing any talking. The leaders are going to take their turns and share their tip with you, their best stuff. Now, if you're not in my lead system pro, just get back to the person who got in touch with you and brought you here, or contact one of our leaders. Our leaders are going to be dropping their blog links here, so get in touch with them there. You can check out their story in the blog link. If you're watching the replay, the blog links will appear magically, poof, at the top of the screen. So we have on our panel today, we have, where should I start? I'll start at L0, Michael Pendleton, who won the draw to be on here with us today. Hey, Michael. We have Roxanne Roeder is the L1, who also won the draw to be here. We have Keely Raven is the L2. Hey, Keely, welcome. Thanks for coming. We have, I'm giddy. I'm just giddy. I really am. This is cool. We have L3, Jen Johnson. Welcome, Jen. Current member of the month. We have Aaron Birch, L4. Thanks for coming, Aaron. Keisha Bass will be joining us later, so she's going to pop in later. And uh, come on, we need no introduction. Lisa Torres is here today, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, that's come on. Got, got to clap for that. That's, that's insane. That is insane. And you know what's interesting? One, two, three, four, five, six people on this panel have been member of the month in my lead system pro. I don't know if that's ever been done in one shot. But I do know there hasn't been an L0, an L1, an L2, an L3, an L4, an L5, and an L6 on the same panel. I know that. So this is kind of, it's a, it's a first. We're gonna, you're going to be able to relate with your own level. Everyone's going to get their own, put in their own flavor. It's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. So I see in the Q&A here it says, Mark, well, you just shut up already and let the real stars on. So we should probably move on. I'll let you guys know in the top left corner there's a QA. Please put your question there. Put the name of the person. Lisa is sticking around, guys. Lisa is sticking around. So you can ask any leader anything. We'll see if they want to answer. And, yeah, basically I'm going to jump right into it. Okay, guys, you know where the QA is. Grab a pen and a pad. I've got mine right here. I'm taking notes. You'd be crazy not to. And at the end of this webinar, I'm, I promise I'm going to give you a gift that's going to generate leads for you forever, okay? This is a gift I'm giving you, not anyone else. If you're watching the replay, you're out of luck. I'm sorry. So this gift, stick around. You're, go you're going to want it. I use this strategy every day to bring leads to me every day on autopilot. And once I tell you what the gift is and I give it to you, you're going to walk away with it today. Today. You'll be able to start using it today. So you want to stick around till the end. People watching the replay, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. We're going to kick it off with, we're going to just kick it off. They're going to share with you their best tip, their best nugget, and I'm not going to cut them off like I originally planned. Can't do that. Can't do that. It, it, we'd all be missing out. So who's ready? Who's ready? We're going to get started with Michael Pendleton. I'm not going to introduce him, but I've known, I've seen Michael online a bit. We chatted a little bit. So you know what, Michael? I'm just going to give you the floor, brother. Go, go for it. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. First of all, I want to thank you, Mark. Um, I'm really excited. I, like I was telling everybody, I've never won anything before. And this was really exciting. Uh, I hope to meet, I'm looking forward to meeting you, everybody on this panel, and everybody in MLSP at the um, Live the Dream 7. I've already got my tickets. I've already got my room. I've got my air. I'm just waiting on the date. It's going to be so exciting. So my tip, well, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I started back in October of 2015. And I was so excited about getting started that I never even took a trial. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and so I just got right in. Uh, within the first three days, I had I had uh, generated eight leads, and I've never generated any leads before in my life, so that was really exciting. Within the first month, I had my first mastery member, 
and at the second month, I had my second. But I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that to tell you what happened next. I um I started slowing down. I got a little cocky and thought, yeah, I can lay back now. And within a couple months, I realized that I hadn't done anything. I had I had no leads. I didn't do anything. So my tip to everybody, especially the new people, is to stay consistent. Uh, I had to reach out to uh, a mentor of mine in MLSP and because I was frustrated, and I, I wanted to know what, what what went wrong. And he said to me, he said Michael, what are you doing now or not doing now that you weren't doing then or were doing then? And that's what it clicked. I wasn't connect. I was connecting with people then. I was putting out content, and I wasn't doing it now. So I had I had lost my momentum. So I had to get my momentum back. I started, uh, I have a list of all the network marketing companies on my wall. I took that list off. I started going into the groups. I started, uh, um, I started um, engaging with people, liking their posts, started building relationships. And I, I got my momentum back. So, um, and I'm happy to say that I actually signed someone up last week out of Vegas. So it's working. It does work. And um, you just have to stay consistent. Uh, so that's my tip, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Awesome brother, awesome brother, awesome brother. Consistency, building relationships, keep the momentum going, right? Yes. I mean, really, the momentum, if you step off that gas pedal, right, it's like starting over, isn't it, every time? Yeah. That's what happened. It was like, it was like starting, and I didn't even realize it until I looked back, I was like, I haven't done anything. I mean, I was on the webinars, but I wasn't implementing anything. And that's another thing. If you want to stay motivated, I definitely get on those uh, those wake up calls. I have that. Uh, I have an alarm on my phone every day at 11 o'clock Eastern time. It goes off no matter where I'm at. And I go to the gym every morning. And sometimes after I eat, I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna take a nap. But then that alarm goes off, and it gets me right back into the swing of things. So yeah, definitely the wake up calls and all all the webinars. Every week I'm there just like just like clockwork. That that is that is gold. That is gold. Some people ask me what do I do differently to rank up? I say no, I just do the same thing. I'm consistent. I try to build relationships every day and I don't lose that momentum because you lose it it's like starting over. Michael, that was incredible, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to move on to the by the way, I forgot to, to open the QA, guys. It's open now. Um, we're going to go right to the L1. we got to keep things moving here. Roxanne Rotor, you won. Can you believe that? No, I can't. But you know what? Things happen for a reason. So with that being said, yes, I can believe it. So thank you, Mark, for this opportunity. And um, I have a few tips. So I'll, I'll talk fast because uh, I know the 10 minutes goes quick. So my first one is mentors. Don't follow a ton, a ton of mentors because you're going to try to implement everything that they're teaching you and you, you'll be all over the place. Um, I recommend following two or three mentors and, and within different um, areas, you know, like blogging, videos, uh, um, uh, uh, spe the speakers or whatever that, um, oh my god, I'm trying to, the prospecting, sorry. Um, you want to watch what they're doing, you want to implement what they're doing, you want to learn from them. And uh, that's how I found out, you know, that I'm starting to get the momentum again of doing the th things that I love to do is the videos, blogging, and just recently prospecting. And I have Mark to thank for that, for the the, the team that I'm in with him. So, um, But you, you want to follow just a few of those mentors and, and do everything that they're doing. And uh, be consistent with it, um, you know, and be focused on what they're doing and learn what they're doing and just just really just follow their lead, what they're, what they're showing you and teaching you. And the second thing was kind of like Michael was saying is you've got to be consistent. And that's been my downfall. And um, you've got to keep that momentum going of doing videos, blogging, posting motivational, inspirational posts commenting on leaders posts and other people's posts, um, emailing your list and, and I was doing that so many times and every single time something got in the way when my momentum caught good. You know it could be many things that get in the way and for me it was health issues. 
So you just got to get over that roadblock and just keep going because when you get that momentum going is when you're going to have that break, breakthrough. And usually you'll quit when that happens and you got to start all over again. So and that and that's been me and, and I'm finally getting over that. Um I'm pushing through that and I just don't want that to happen to all of you. Um because mostly it does happen to all of us, but just push through that. If you're not seeing results, they will happen. People are watching you that you don't even know about and uh like I said just keep pushing through that. And um the third one is help your team. Um this is huge because I signed up with somebody that that I've never heard from. They've never called me. I never got an email. I never got anything from them. And I made the decision that I want to help my team. So find a way to duplicate a fast track to success for them and you know get them to that first level. And I'm working on doing short, quick videos on the things that they can implement immediately to get them to L1 or you know whatever business they're in to get them. Um, to get that first sign up because once they do they are like so psyched they're so just you know like wow this really does work for me and uh, they'll stay on your team for life then so I suggest doing hangouts with them weekly I uh, tell them to reach out to me and I reach out to them and I try to do that daily and um, you know they got my number my email but I also tell them for their questions to go to Google and YouTube search their questions in there first to see if they can find the answer. If they can't, reach out to me and I'll find the answer for them. So I just, you know, really want to implement that uh, to do what you can for your team to duplicate the things so they know that they can duplicate that and just be there for them. Push them forward, motivate them, and just uh, be the leader that you want your team to be. So. Um, those are my my tips, and I just I have a quote that is mine that I made up. I want to share with you, and it is, you can be who you want to be, you can do what you want to do, and you can have the lifestyle you want. It's all within you. So again, thank you, Mark, for this huge opportunity, and uh, thank you all, and uh, go rock it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Roxanne. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. I just got to touch on the leader. Pick, pick a leader or pick us. Don't do what every single leader tells you to do. You'll be running around in circles forever. You'll be a professional student. You really will. It's funny because the leaders on this panel are. Here's what I like about L's, 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 L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6. You have to earn your L. There's no mumble jumbo. There's none of this. I make, I get a hundred leads a day. If you don't have your L, L is MLSP. You got. There's no uh, greasing any palms. There's no. You know he's got all this clout. You got to pick up. You got to do what you got to do to get those signups and make it happen. So these leaders on this panel, like I said, six on this panel, six people, <clears throat> including myself. If I do say so. No, I'm just saying. They're a member of the months here. It's a big deal. You got to earn your L's. So you want to start here. You want to follow these leaders. They've earned it. Just had to put that out there. Um, thank you, Roxanne. That was incredible. You are in presence of greatness today, and the other leaders ain't bad themselves. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. You know what? We're going next to Oh, Keely, 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 Keely. Another member of the month alumni. <laughs> Kelly, you are up, my friend. There's no introduction. You just go. The floor is yours. Oh, awesome. Thanks. I've been waiting to take over one of your webinars. Um, <laughs> well, hi, everyone. Um, thank you, Mark, for having me here. I'm super excited to be on this panel, and I'm thrilled to be a part of MLSP. And, you know, I, I love to um, to be on video, so... This is part of my thing. I, I totally dig it. So <laughs> I'm definitely honored and grateful. Um, so you asked for the my best tip, and so then I had to think about something all encompassing. Um, and it's funny you just mentioned how to <laughs> the shortcut to being a professional student. I totally win that award, um, and I don't recognize re recommend that anyone else go for it. 
Um, the, the major tip that I had to deliver was just that your business is you. And that's something that I heard when I first entered MLSP, but apparently I didn't really get it because I came in um, thinking about, well, what's the best strategy? What should I do? And I happened to listen to, like, everyone that was talking. I was like, oh, Facebook. Okay, let's go do that. Oh, wait, and Twitter. Mm -hmm, I'll do that, too. Oh, video. That's what I should do? That I'll do that, too. So I know that I was in my own way, and I took um, longer than I would have liked <laughs> to, to make progress. But um, that's a lesson now at this point that I can share with other people. So my hope is that um, other people take that in and don't do that. But my background is, is um, in addition to what you'll read on my blog and the member of the month stuff, is very academic. And so I really knew how to be a student. And I was something I was good at. Like I always, I went to top schools all the time. And it was something that required that, well, my, my, there was no pressure on me to do anything except my best. But then I would look around and be like, well, how am I in, in comparison to these other people? What could I do differently to, to be better, to rank higher, you know, and whatever it was. If it was SAT scores, if it was what school I got into, if it was some percentile rank. I was very into that. And then I was an athlete, too, so that's all about winning. And the thing about being a part of MLSP and having your own business is that it's not really about anybody else, which is so freeing. So I never thought that I would really sort of come on and talk mindset kind of stuff, but I am. Um, <laughs> but I know that um, making your own business yourself is so freeing because then I only have to do a couple of things. Like I only have to focus on getting better myself, and I don't have to worry about what everybody else is doing. So I would encourage other people to really think about that and only try to outdo yourself because then you're just getting better. Um, I know that in this industry, there's no such thing as competition, and my former self would sort of balk at that and just be like, well, that sucks. Where's the fun in that? But um, the competition, again, is with yourself, and, um, you know, so all I have to do is be me, which I've done a pretty good job at, you know, just growing up, being me, and, um, you know, that's like the easiest job in the world. It includes all the flaws, so failure, wrap it up, put it out there. Um, I know I was on a, a Facebook Live just yesterday, and I'm pretty sure there was food in my hair. And whatever, I have a three-year-old. I noticed that obviously I didn't check the mirror thoroughly before I got on Facebook Live and was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> my kid probably just put that in there because she likes to touch my hair. But, you know, what you can't defend, promote. So I think being a part of, of home business in any way is about you know, your own personal growth and recognizing that you have a lot of power in just being yourself and being okay with who you are and then presenting that to people in whatever way works for you. So not about the strategy, just about being you and doing whatever it is that you do. And so personally, I like, I like live video. Um, I do that and I have fun, you know, even making fun of myself. That's part of what I do. Um, and then the other part is that when you're yourself, you also, and, and as part of being um, in the home business industry, this is part of why it's super cool, and that's that you get to decide and um, by, by your own actions who you end up working with. And so I know that there are a whole bunch of 30-something mommies who um, are network marketers, who have a fun sense of humor, who are in my target market. So I don't have to, to be something else to attract those people. I know that they're like me, just maybe not as far along as their business in their business as I am now. So then and they need someone to share answers. And so that's one of my mentors likes to say, share answers. And I really like the way that that, um, that approach. Sorry, you might have heard my three year old screaming. That's part of my life. Um, but I get to like, she's in the bed. She's not unsafe. But I get to um, just come out and be myself and then attract the right people to me and in the same way repel the other people and that's cool because I don't want to work with them anyway. Which is a, it's just a great position to be in. So, you know, doing home business, super empowering. My best tip is just bring yourself to the table on a regular basis. Um, and then brand everything to yourself, 
everything that you do, you know, share your life with other people. They appreciate that. Just be authentic, and you'll end up attracting the right people to you, and you'll get to work with some of the coolest people ever because they're just like you, and you like yourself, right? So that's that's my deal. <laughs> wow. I mean, come on. That is, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think that's, the, for me, the whole attract and repel, that should be a blog post, attract and repel, because that is, it takes, it took me practice to be me, if that makes any sense. It takes practice to be myself. I went on video at first, and this completely relates with what Keely says, in my opinion. I was shaky, I was very robotic, and once I peeled off the layer, layers and became myself, I definitely repelled the people who were not in my lane, or as I like to say, find your lane, go with your lane. And it's funny because people will follow you for you, who you are, not necessarily the information. Like I saw this ad on TV the other day, Melissa Merck, she does fashion and makeup, and she said, there's a ton of YouTube channels that do fashion and makeup, but there's not a ton of YouTube channels where I am the host. So that is your powerful asset, guys. And I mean, I'm just concurring with what Q is mm -hmm. saying. It's food in the hair, that's me. I got I to gotta make an effort sometimes actually put a shirt on, so maybe I'm not off. You don't want me to be 100% me. Trust me on that one. Thank you, Keely. That was incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. So My pleasure, much. Mark. Thank you. Wow. So here we go, guys. A little bit of a drum roll. We have the current, the current champ, the current member of the month coming up. Who needs no introduction? I'm just going to throw it her way. Welcome, Jen Johnson. Thank you for coming. The floor is yours. Thank you. It's it's incredible. I was just um, talking to Lisa Torres and and asking her, what do I got to do? I, I want to be member of the month. I want to do this. And I was thinking, oh, maybe by August, you know, and, and uh, yeah, it, it happened so much quicker. And um, it's, it's amazing what you put out there. That you just get it back. And, uh, you know, a little backstory story, too, um, just to kind of give some people some encouragement um, when getting started in MLSP is that when I first got started, my first 10 days, I brought in four people. I didn't hit L1 because not all of them stayed. But it, it went pretty, you know, you have that instant boost. And um, from there, I kind of went stagnant. I started back in September of last year. And I've had many conversations with Erin Birch. <laughs> and I would ask her, what am I doing? What do I need to do? I don't understand. And I had built teams before, and I knew how to prospect and all. And it just, it took a minute to kind of get acclimated and understand, like, the power of what MLST really can do for people. And once you start to believe in it, you just share it with so much excitement and it makes such a difference but you know one thing that you know the tip I want to talk about today is how to avoid that all over the place feeling when you walk into MLSP because it is instant information overload it's instant you have all this training at your disposal all this all these tools and um, a lot of what Roxanne was saying I'm gonna resonate with here too so First and foremost, everybody pick a strategy. That's, that's the number one thing. And it's so easy to get sucked into every strategy because there is, we have them all here to learn. So once you pick that, you want to make sure, um, you know, you pick the, the right leaders. That was my second tip is pick the right leaders that are in line with the strategies that you're wanting to implement. So, you know, we have Ray Higdon, who's the blogging king, and Diane Hockman, who's the email marketing queen, and Mark Harbert, who's the video marketing king. And so if you're looking to video market, like, follow the right people that are in line with, with the strategies you're looking to implement, and then create a really solid daily method of operation. This is something I'm constantly working on, working on being more efficient with my time. Um, but it all starts with breaking down, doing the right activities in your day, and making sure you're prioritizing them in the right way because a lot of times we love doing passive marketing more than anything but you know in the beginning to get in profit mode you really want to be prospecting when I brought in four people in my first 10 days it what I didn't generate leads I didn't even know how to use our system I knew how to grab that link and just send it to people's inbox and I was messaging them just excited about what I had learned and wasn't and was just at letting them know hey I can share this with you if you want and so 
through private conversation, I was able to really gain some momentum. And then I started learning the system. So really understanding, you know, I wanted to break down some points for you. The things that you want to be doing in your day, personal development, training, passive marketing, prospecting, following up, and team building. So those are the elements. So what you can do, write those down in, in between and make a little room for each category. And now, instead of just keeping it you know, with your goals, you always want to be very specific with your goals, but you also want to be very specific with your activity. So don't just say, oh, I'm going to do some personal development. Um, make a plan the night before. Write out these categories and say, okay, so for personal development, I'm going to spend 30 minutes reading a book, listening to the MLSP podcast, um, whatever, whatever you want to do, but specify and set a timer. Set a timer for everything that you're doing so you know that you can stay focused on it and while that timer is running, that's what your focus is. With training, okay, so tomorrow I'm, I want to learn more about you know my video marketing or whatever you want to learn. Go pick an exact training you want to watch and put that on your calendar. Have it be 30 minutes to an hour, however long you think you can spend on it but always time it out. And then same thing with your passive marketing. Figure out, do I want to blog? Do I want to run ads? Do I want to video market? Once you figure it out, make a list of the things you need to do for your day to complete it. And then with prospecting, I think breaking down prospecting is really important because if you just hop on Facebook and say, I'm going to go chat with people, that can be overwhelming for some people because there's so many different places you can go. You can go to groups. You can go to your own page. You can you know, go into... Uh, just you know different chats or whatever and private messaging accepting friend requests there's so many things you can do so I typically like to break down my hour and say for 15 minutes I'm gonna you know accept friend requests for 15 minutes I'm gonna go into chat groups for 15 minutes I'm gonna go talk on some fan pages so really break down you know exactly what you're doing setting that timer and when you set a timer and you're racing against the clock to do these activities you're gonna get so much more done and it's gonna make you more efficient with your time um, and then there's follow-up I know a lot of people struggle with the follow-up but it's really important to have that system and we have our CRM software that is in the back of MLSP that you can be utilizing to make sure the follow-ups definitely if you're generating leads those are your first people you should be following up with because they're the ones who are paying attention to you so they deserve your attention first and foremost so make sure you're following up with your leads and then also you know if you have messages or if you're writing it on a calendar whatever your strategy is for follow-up make sure you just make a list of who you spoke to that day and uh, journal it out and and keep track of your conversions because that really helps you to become more efficient as well and then spend some time team building you know make it a goal to talk to maybe two or three people on your team in a day um, just to connect with them shoot them a message maybe set up a call if you have to you know mastermind with them a little bit and give them some leadership advice but make sure you're really creating a culture you know that's one thing I'm really uh, attribute a lot of my retention with my MLSP team is that I've created culture and I do weekly hangouts and I have a private chat group where they can ask me questions and they can talk with each other and and I think they just love being a part of the community so much they're they don't want to leave because you just create that culture for them so um, and then lastly just evolve naturally um, I've really learned to embrace evolving naturally we follow all these amazing leaders and we see what they're doing but you also have to put it into your own perspective of what chapter of your book that you're on you know they may have all these amazing platforms and strategies but they also have outsourcing and teams and all these things in place to really help them keep all of this stuff together so just know that you can get there but you have to be okay with evolving naturally and an example of that I just experienced this week I decided I wanted to change my blog theme <laughs> to Divi and then I uh, immediately felt felt 50 pounds of stress come onto my plate because I it was such a big learning curve that I just had to ask myself is this gonna get me to where my where my goals are right now no so I took it off my plate you have to just know that yeah one day I can change my theme and do all that kind of stuff but right now my blog is fine and that my that's not going to get me to my goal working on on my theme so you always want to be asking yourself 
you know, is what I'm doing right now going to move me to that next level? And and be okay with the fact that you may not be on Snapchat and Twitter and Periscope and, and just know that you need to get results on one platform and adding another one won't help until you get those results. So don't, and lastly, don't spend all your time trying to figure out how to spend your time. <laughs> so just, just get, just get to it and take action. So those are my tips. Wow, wow, wow. Personal development training, prospecting, follow-up, team building, evolve naturally, which is I love evolve naturally. Today you think you're going to do something, then something comes up. Don't say, oh, no, I wanted to do this. Evolve naturally because it's like a little voice, It's right? It's almost like a little voice is guiding you. So I kind of just follow that voice. I loved it, Jen. That, that one, one more thing too, um, eliminate your distractions. I actually turned off my social media notifications because that little red button, it just it's like your your focus immediately goes to that every single time. It doesn't matter if there's one or five or whatever. You want to immediately you want that red button off of your phone. So I just decided I'm gonna turn it off and when there's a time and place for me to check my emails. There's a time and place for me to go on and engage with my Facebook audience. And I'm going to be in control of that time, not my notifications. So that's another. Tip. I know. Uh, the notifications, if there's a new hair product or a male manicure sale, I'm all over that. i got to ignore <laughs> that stuff, you know. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a solid DMO right there. Jen, th that's, that's a leader. It's a DMO every minute. That's what that was, basically. It was your DMO. People yeah. pay money to get a leader's DMO, guys. It's like, what's your DMO? Tell me what you do. There it is. That was, thank you, Jen. If you guys yeah. aren't taking notes, get your, come on. We got, we're not, we're halfway there. Look who's on the panel. I'm going to, thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jen. So grateful. Everybody's grateful. Okay, we're going. Aaron, I'm going to jump in. Do uh, you mind if I jump and introduce someone I've never met? Keisha, what's up? You're on mute. I mute myself. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me okay without back without feedback? Yeah. How are you? We never met. How's it going? I am doing awesome and incredibly amazing. Better now that I'm on here with all these amazing leaders. So thanks so much for inviting me. Yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to. Brand new L5. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna step back. I'll let you I'll let you take over, Keisha, if you'd like. Awesome. Thanks so much. Um, and if you guys hear noise in the background, just know I, you know it's Sunday. I sing. I do a lot of stuff. Okay. And so you may just catch some noise. But anyways, glad to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me, Mark. Thank you for all that you do uh, for the community and for bringing all these leaders together. Um, I have a few things I want to say. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to move really quickly here. But as I was um, getting prepared for this, getting on here, setbacks actually happen. I wake up this morning, and um, I get a message from my friend and says, listen, your domain has got to be hacked. There's something that's going wrong. I'm getting all these messages and stuff. And sure enough, I get to my computer, mykeishabass.com, poof, okay? It's like... You know, it's had it's a suspended page because HostGator, you know, ends up suspending it. Um, but and so my first thing to say to you guys is that setbacks happen, right? It's a part of life. It's a part of building a business that you're gonna have setbacks or things are gonna happen to you that are just are out of your control, okay? And you just gotta learn to just roll with the punches and just go with it. Now it is up now. You know, I call HostGator. They did some things or whatever. But I want to, you know, first and foremost, to know that as you're building your business. As you're going through things, just expect that things are going to go wrong, right? And just be okay with it. But don't, you know, it's a yin and a yang. So if you go way out of control, so I could have got, I could have got this morning and be like, oh my god, you know, my website, what am I going to do? I got to get on the interview, and you know, and Mark's got these people coming, and I don't even have a domain. Oh my god, I'm an L5 leader inside of MLSP, and my domain's hacked, and what is going to go on? You know what? And so I have learned as I've gone through my journey to just keep it, keep it chill, okay? Keep it even chill. Um, and so that's one thing that, if anything, I tell you guys, take that with you. The second thing I want to say, and I always like to tell people this, and I'm putting it on my phone because I always like to make sure I get it right, 
you got to understand when you're building a business, there's a thing called the law of time perspective, okay? The law of time perspective, and I'm always talking about it. But I'm going to read it to you really quick because I want you guys to get this. It says the most successful people, the most successful people in any society are those that take the longest period into consideration when making their day-to-day -day decisions. They understand that, and they're willing to pay, okay? They're willing to pay the price of success for a long time long time before they achieve it. They think about the consequences of their choices and decisions in terms of what they might mean in 5, 10, and even 20 years, okay? So as you're building your business, be in it for the long-term gain. Just tell yourself quitting is actually not even an option. It's not even an option. If I quit now, it's, it's not, someone's not going to, to um, if I quit now, I think about my sons, right? They're, I may be doing the things I'm doing today so that they may be sitting under the trees that I'm planting right now, the seeds that I'm planting right now here with Mark. The things I'm doing right now, it, may, it very well may be that my sons may be the ones that benefit from the seeds that I'm planting right now. And so think about it long, long term. Your business, your life, and everything you do, be in it for the long term gain. Okay, be in it for the long term game. And you guys hope you guys can hear my husband is playing in the background. He's playing the organ. So, so I wanted to make sure I just share that on today. Uh, Mark, thank you for inviting me on here today. I got kids that are coming in for children's church and everything. So, thanks for having me. You guys go and rock it out. You can check out my blog, KeishaBass.com. <laughs> it's actually up. Uh, and so, so, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you guys. Every single one of you rock stars. You guys are amazing. So, thank you so much. Alright, uh, thank you. You're so welcome. Oh, guys, I mean, the, the, just really quick, I just smashed my iPad. My iPad is my, my iPad, I do everything on my iPad. It's my telephone calls, it's my videos, it's my Skype meetings, it's usually most of my webinars. The other day, I put it on my tripod on a slanted slope, it went down and it smashed the whole thing and I do everything on that thing it's a brand new one too so the reason I'm saying that is because Keisha's talking about setbacks I gotta say this this happened the other day I made a video of it and I'm not happy but here's what I did I was pissed and I had to beep out a few parts of my video because I was pissed I was recording off the broken iPad and I said you know what no 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 you ain't gonna win I'm gonna beat this anger and I literally, I could feel my brain kind of transforming. And I knew that I was stretching. And I was grateful because I was like, if I can beat that feeling and say, ha, it's just an iPad, you ain't going to win. That's, that, ladies and gentlemen, has made me who I am today. These challenges, they're going to come. And the bigger ones you can tackle, I think of it as fighting a monster. I'm in the Hercules cartoon. Come on, let's go. So, Keisha, thank you. That was amazing. I can completely relate. Completely. The power, Mark. You know, it's, 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 it's maintaining our own power and understanding that I have the power to control. You know, I have my power, right? I can control me. I can't control the website. I can't control things external to me, but I can control me and to maintain power of me. Right, oh, so you, you own, you have the power to control your what, how you respond to different situations that happen in your life. It is not even business, marriage, anything, children, anything. You have the power, and if only you only not have the power when you give it up, right? And oftentimes people just give up the power, quit. This is dumb, whatever, right? And lose power over. But you are the greatest. You know, you're the greatest. This is this is. I, I is it a surprise that she jumped to L five? I just want to run around the block right now. I am pumped up. Keisha can go, man. That is insane. I've never really heard you give her. That's incredible. You're, I don't know how many people, how many audience, how big your audiences are in person. They probably are. But you're, because it's in, you're incredible. You just pumped me up. And I just took five minutes. I'm sure everyone on this webinar is pumped. You're going to pump people. Oh, amazing. Amazing. So happy I, I met you. I really, really am. It's a real, real pleasure, real honor. So, Keisha, thank you. We're gonna move along. We're gonna uh, we're gonna rewind. Time is we're good. We're good. We're on schedule. This is packed. 
This is packed. I hope you guys are taking notes because you ain't getting a replay. Just play and you're getting a replay. Okay, next, another member of the month alumni. Ooh, a fellow Canadian, a fellow Canuck, special place in my heart. Uh, no introduction. I'm going to throw the ball. Mrs. Erin Birch, welcome. The floor is yours. And that's Miss, by the way. Thanks, Mark. Thank you for having me. First of all, I wanted to touch on something that Keisha said because it's hugely important. She was talking about how successful people are able to see into the future and imagine their success into the future. That is called vision. And if you are unable to do that, you are in the wrong industry. If you are the kind of person who expects instant results the minute you step into anything, whether it be MLSP and an MLM, affiliate marketing, whatever it may be, if you expect to be making $10,000 in your first month without learning those skill sets, it ain't going to happen. You're in the wrong industry. You need to keep your government job, you know, that you've already been doing kind of thing. It's true. That is an entrepreneurial mindset. You have to be able to envision your results, you know, six months down the road, a year from now, two years. If you're not able to envision that, don't come into this industry because it's not the right industry for you. So I get asked all the time um, how to get results quickly. My advice to everyone, if you really want to explode your business, you've got to get the skill sets, you've got to get the mindset, but you have to grind, not forever, but in the very beginning, you need to be a grinder. I get a lot of people asking me how many hours I put into my day. You know, what they want to hear is, oh, I work an hour and a half a day. No, I don't. I work my butt off. Am I going to have to work this many hours forever? No, I'm not because I'm, I've gained the skill sets. So I'm going to work my butt off for, you know, a few years. And then I will be able to kick back and work a few hours a week and maintain the empire that I have built. So you've got to run hard in the beginning. You pick what you are best at, whether that be connecting with people, whether it be if, if you're cool with video, jump into video. You need to figure out what you are best at, whether it be writing, say a blog, pick your one strategy, social media strategy and a blog and video and run hard. Every second you put into your business in the beginning is going to pay off big time. If you slack, it's going to take you 10 times longer to get there. You know, my house is a mess. I'm not even going to show you my house. I'm not watching TV at night. I haven't seen TV in well over a year. Well over a year. And every second I put into my business is paying off. I always say, you know you're on the right track when people say to you, you're obsessed. You need balance. You're going to burn out. Really? Thanks. I find that very flattering, personally. And that's how you get results. You've got to be a grinder in the beginning because that is what builds the foundation for your business and gets the momentum going. You heard earlier, Keely was talking about momentum and um, the other down one, I'm sorry, I forgot, forgot your name already. But momentum is huge. And they are absolutely right. You build that momentum hard. The minute you take your foot off the pedal, you lose that momentum, you're back to square one. So run as hard as you possibly can. If that means multitasking in the beginning, do it. I don't make dinner or fold the laundry without at least listening to, I call the morning wake-up calls my makeup calls because that's what I'm doing. I'm multitasking. You know, you learn while you're doing other kind of brainless activities like unloading the dishwasher or whatever. But I wanted to share the number one thing that's the biggest lesson I have learned this year that has made the most impact in my entire life and my bank account. Oh, God, I wish I'd known this when I was 12, is stepping out of your comfort zone. Doing what makes you uncomfortable is going to grow your business the fastest and is going to have the most impact on your personal development and your bank account. It's so powerful. Stepping out of your, yeah, you have to force yourself to step out of your comfort zone in the beginning, 
But of course, like anything else, it gets easier and easier. You do something that scares the crap out of you, like video, like calling your leads, you survive, it's very empowering. It eggs you on to do it again, you do it again, it's a bit easier, it's, you know, your video is better because you've already done your first one, you feel awesome again, you're proud of yourself, it's empowering, it eggs you on to do it again, and you do it again and again and again until it's old hat, until you're very relaxed about doing it, and then the results just start to flow. So if you want to make an impact on other people's lives and, and impact your bank account, you've got to step out of your comfort zone and do this. That is where the results lie, outside your comfort zone. I swear to God, it changes you as a person. And then what happens, it's a natural progression. Basically, when you've got the skill sets down and you've put in the work to build the momentum, build the foundation for your business, brand yourself, you get to a point where you know you will never have to worry about money again because you know how to make money like that online. So your focus starts to shift to helping other people get to that same place because you no longer have to worry about yourself. And holy shit, what a feeling that is. I mean, you, you permanently live on cloud line, on cloud nine when you get to that point. You exist on a higher frequency, which truly just draws, you know, better people into your life, better opportunities, a lot more money, and oh, you feel like Superman or Superwoman, and it's absolutely life-changing. So those are my tips. Biggest things I have learned this year that have changed my life. Amazing. 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 Can you tell I'm a bit passionate about what I do now? <laughs> well, you are Canadian after all. I was going to say, leave it to a Canadian to drop the first person, okay? Uh, it's funny because talking about Canadians and comfort zones, let me... I was echoing. You know, Aaron, I think, in my opinion, that all those tips you packed in three or four there, five. But the biggest one for me was the comfort zone one. And I, I got to say, Mike Myers, Austin Powers, one, he's Canadian, but one of Mike Myers' quotes, he says, what is hard at the beginning becomes easy. Then what is easy now becomes beautiful. So what was once hard becomes beautiful. And that's, you won't, you won't get that if you don't get out of your comfort zone. Really quick, when I won member of the month, Patricia Sweeney interviewed me. I was like, I'm not doing the interview. You can do a blog post, MLSP. Well, I'll be damned if I'm going on video. I hadn't done any videos at that point. And then when the interview was over, my armpits were, first of all, they were soaked. My heart was going like this, and I didn't remember a word. I'm like, I hope I didn't say anything stupid. As a matter of fact, I did. But that's because I was like so nervous. I was shaking, guys. I thought I'd have a heart attack. Then I go, thank God that's over. The next week, April Marie Tucker contacts me and says, hey, buddy, you one member of the month. Want to do a webinar? I'm like, yeah. Sure. Hell no, I don't want to do a webinar. But she, I'm doing it. But she forced me kind of into it. And since those two interviews, two of them, my life, money started coming in. People started calling. I'm like, I matched it up, and that was my kind of catalyst. And I, I don't I don't take over the show, but I also have to touch on painting a vision. Because people always say I'm unrealistic, right? Well, I mean, if being realistic is the right thing, I want to be wrong, baby. I want to be unrealistic. I want goals where people say, are you nuts? And I paint that vision. And the people that get it, they'll follow you. The people that don't. As Keely would say, you repel them. I love it. And grinding, I got to say the grinding thing because I've been getting a bit of flack for promoting grinding, grinding. I want to make it clear. It's like syphilis once said. Oh, syphilis. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, fruity and slip? Sisyphus. The, the Greek mythology. Syphilis. Ooh. Well, what's this webinar about if somebody's just tuning in, right? <laughs> Ooh, 
Woo, Lalone does it again. Thank you very much. Sisyphus was pushing the boulder up that hill, okay? And he never quite gets to the top of that peak. Well, that's the grinding phase, guys. That's what I call, that's active prospecting. You're going out. That will become passive marketing and attraction marketing, but you got to get the boulder up there, then it'll roll off and you go, ah, there's always a little room for grinding, though, but not as much. So, Aaron, thank you. That was incredible. My pleasure. My pleasure. Awesome. Awesome. Now, guys, you guys, guys, here we go. Are you guys ready? Are you guys sitting down? Are you buckled up? No, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to. All I'm going to say is that when I was a member, when I, Lisa Torres came in after I got member of the month in MLSP, here I am, yeah, I'm the new member of the month. She comes in and just goes, boom, I didn't even see her come in. I just didn't. It didn't. She was member of the month two months after, and the rest is history. That's all I got to say about that. The one, the only, Lisa Torres. Thank you. Can you hear me just fine? Perfect. Can you hear me? Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for inviting me here. Um, I don't even know what to share after all of these amazing tips that everybody shared. We talked about, you know, mindset. We talked about, you know, doing videos and adding videos into your, you know, your daily method of operation. We talked about daily method of operation. Uh, we talked about so many different things. So now I'm like, okay, well, what should I bring to the table? Well, here's what I want to bring to the table, um, and I think that if you couple this with everything else that you shared, your business will skyrocket like nobody's business, okay? Now, before I get into that, let me just share a little bit of my story really quickly because I know there's probably people watching right now that maybe never heard of me before. Um, so I really want to share a little bit of that story and that journey with you guys before I share the tip that you came for or the golden nugget, the gold bar. Um, I started in this industry when I was 19, we're talking 26 years ago. Um, when I, you know, I got introduced to this wonderful industry called network marketing um, at a home party. Okay? We didn't have any social media back then, obviously, so we had to do it the old school way, which was, you know, um, doing home parties, connecting with your friends and family, all that stuff, making a list of 100 people, yada, yada, yada. You know, the, you know the routine. All network marketing companies basically teach you how to do the same exact thing. Um, and when I, when I first started, when I was 19, from 19, for the first 18 years, I should say, for the first 18 years after I signed up for that, my first deal, because I jumped around from business to business, but, you know, as jumping around from business to business, through the first 18 years, I struggled bad. Oh, my God. I made about $20 in 18 years. You know, Keisha talked a little bit about um, being, it, being in it for the long haul. If you are not willing to go through the pain, what was this um, quote that I, um, that I know? In order for you to get to the rainbow... You have to go through the rain first. It has to rain before the rainbow appears. So if you are not willing to go through um, the rain, the pain, you know, the sleepless nights, the fights with your spouse, the, you know, spending time away from your kids or whatever the case may be. If you are not willing to go through that in order to get to the rainbow, and what's the rainbow? The rainbow is having results in your business. The rainbow is generating leads and converting those leads into sales. The rainbow is what Erin talked about when she talked about being at a higher frequency when where your business is at its max. Well, we can it, it will never be at its maximum height because it's we're always open and there's always room for growth. But it will be at a level where you are free, where you have created freedom in your life. Where, you know, you could, t I mean, I've taken a month or two off of my business and focused on completely other things that was going on in my life, yet my, my business was still running on autopilot. How do you, how do you go from struggling from eight, for 18 years to finally having, um, you know, a business where it's just, it's, it's working even when you're not working it anymore? 
right? It's working even when you're not focused on it for an extended period of time. How do you get to that level? Um, so these are these are some of the things that I, you know, I had to endure the pain, right? The rain, right? Before I got to the rainbow. My rainbow didn't come until 18 years later. Or I should say, yes, 18 years later. In 2007, when I got laid off of my job, we're talking about nine years ago now. When I got laid off from my job, um, I was working in corporate America in the banking industry, and I got laid off from my job. And I tell you, that that day that they called me into the HR department to say, bye-bye, you got to go, was the happiest moment of my life because that was the day that I made the decision that I will never, ever, 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 ever work for someone again. <laughs> it wasn't an option, okay? If I had to, I mean, if my, on, my, my goal was to go online and create an online business, that was like my vision, right? We talked about visions. My vision was to create an online business. I didn't know how. I didn't know what tools I needed. I didn't know anything about anything. I didn't know about capture pages or autoresponders. I was at ground zero in my business, in my knowledge, in growing a business online. Zero. I knew nothing, right? But... Knowing nothing and being at ground zero is a really nice place to be. So if you are at ground zero right now, if you know absolutely nothing about building a business online, if you don't know anything about capture pages and autoresponders and prospecting and generating leads and converting leads into sales, that's a really great place to be because it's almost like you're a child in this new realm of business. You're a child. And what do, child, what, what do children do best, right? They learn something and they soak it up like a sponge. They're soaking it up like a sponge, right? You curse around children, what are they doing? They're going around with their friends and they're cursing, right? They pick up everything. You, you, um, I have a friend who is, has been in the network marketing industry for since baby. You know, he's, I think, like 30 years old now, but he's been in the network marketing industry since he was literally, he was born into it. His mother, when he was growing up, his mother, all she ever did was put on personal development audios for him to listen to from baby all the way to whatever. And now he's a multiple millionaire inside of this industry. Why? Because she fed him the information that he needed. She was already in network marketing. She was already a successful network marketer. She raised him into this industry. She raised him into feeding his mind and his brain with the positive things, the things that we need in order for us to have growth in this industry, right? Because in this industry, we don't have weekly paychecks or bi-weekly paychecks. We have to create our own paychecks. And in order to create your own paychecks, there are certain things that you have to be willing to do. That's personal development. That is, you know, learning different strategies. That is um, creating processes in your business, right? How, I mean, it's not just about learning a strategy or learning a ton of strategies, but it's about taking what you know and now creating a process inside of your business. Because without processes, I mean, it's almost like, you know, you look at, let's say fast food restaurants, right? They have a process, which is why they're so successful. If you don't have processes in your business, so for example, what do I mean by processes? I mean that um, you know you have your websites, you have your blogs, you have your content going out there, you, whatever, right? Um, what happens, here's, the, here's where the process comes. What happens when the person, the prospect, the lead, whatever you wanna call it, sees your capture page at that point? Right. You are ex exchanging um, a valuable piece of information. It doesn't have to be big. It could be something small. You know, you're exchanging valuable information in exchange for a phone number, email address and their name. Right. You're exchanging. There's an exchange going on. That's a that's a piece of the process that has to happen in order for them to get to the end result. And what is the end result? You have to you have to know what the end the end result is you getting them into your business. That's the end result. But you have to remove the money aspect out of the equation because it, that money process, or I should say the money equation is not a part of the process. It's a byproduct of the process that the prospect has to go through. 
Okay, so you generate the lead. You you know, and then you ask yourself, what happens after I generate the lead? Right? Where are they going after I generate the lead? Sales page. Great. What happens when they're on the sales page? Are they seeing a video of me? Are they seeing a video of my company? What happens after that? What happens when the person is now on my autoresponder? Am I following up with them? Am I trying to reach out to them on Facebook? What is that process? What happens when I reach out to them on Facebook? Am I reaching out to them and building, you know, um, um, starting a conversation and building a relationship? What happens during that conversation? See, these are all processes, and unless you know what the process is going to be inside of your business, you're not building a business. Okay, so some of the things that uh, I think my number one thing that I could share with you guys, and it's something that I have been doing since the moment I got laid off of my job in 2007 when I found YouTube, because that was my social media platform back then. That's what I was, you know, I started doing videos. And, you know, I was so afraid, you know, Mark talked about, you know, he was so afraid of doing videos. I was paranoid of doing videos. Now I cannot live without doing videos in my business. My business can't survive without doing videos in my business, right? So I was paranoid, but I did it, right? I did it because everybody, what, YouTube was the place to be. It was YouTube and MySpace back then. So it was either you were doing videos or you weren't doing anything, right? <laughs> so I had to do videos. I didn't have a choice. And that was the, the best decision of my life was to incorporate videos inside of my business. So now, now that I knew that I had to do videos, my struggle back then was, well, how do I start creating content for my videos, valuable content so that people can actually be attracted to me? What does that look like, right? How do I start doing that? Um, because I was running out of ideas. I didn't know what to talk about in my video, which is a lot of, a lot of people struggle with right now. They don't know what to talk about in their videos, or their blog posts, or even you know images that they're posting on, let's say Facebook or Instagram or whatever. They just don't know how to create content. So I'm going to give you my gold bar for the for the day. The easiest way for you to create content inside of your business, and I don't care what it is that you're promoting. You could be promoting MLSP. You could be in a travel business, and you're you know you're the travel guru of your business. You can be, you know, a health and fitness coach and you're like the health and fitness coach of your business. I don't care what it is. The bottom line is if you are not adding value on the front end, you're not building a business on the back end. Simple as that. Okay? So how do you create how do you come up with the content? Well, let's let's use my my niche, for example. My niche is network marketers, right? Network marketers are attracted to what? personal development, marketing training, lead generation, prospecting, closing, all that kind of stuff, right? That's what they're attracted to. Um, what would be your target markets, you know, attract, you know, what, what are they attracted to? So if you were in, let's say, a travel niche, what is your prospect attracted to? They're attracted to travels, maybe family destinations, um, you know, maybe, you know, honeymoon locations, whatever the case may be, you better know what your prospect is attracted to. Or you're gonna lose. Okay? So number one rule, know what know what your prospect is attracted to. So now, now that we have the rules set in place, how do we come up with the content? Very simple. There's I mean here, here, look. I mean, I got a whole library and my closet is full of books, DVDs, um, all different types of stuff. Like I got this book recently that I, that I almost finished reading. You know, I can grab just, I just go to one page, read a couple of pages and boom, I have a piece of content, right? Because I can share what I learned. I have, you know, Cracking the Code by Todd Falcone. I could just throw a DVD while I'm, you know, cooking dinner or driving my car or whatever the case may be. And one little golden nugget is all I need to hear in order for me to sh take my video out, take my cell phone out, shoot a video that's like a minute or two long about the golden nugget that I learned, right? And now, boom, I have a piece of content. So imagine if you have books like this, you know, DVDs like this, books like this, you know, audios like like this, like Danny Johnson, right? Tons of value in here. I mean, I could go on and on for days 
It could be YouTube video. Okay, it could be books. It could be DVDs. It could be you know YouTube videos. It could be um, maybe questions that you see people asking on Facebook. It could be questions that people are asking you. Right? All of these different things. Here's here's the thing. You have to learn how to become aware of what people are asking. You have to become aware of some of the things that you're learning. Because if that all those little golden nuggets that you're learning, even right here on this hangout right now, when this hangout is over, if you don't shoot, if you don't pick up your camera, okay, your cell phone, turn on that video and share one little golden nugget. You know, a one or two minute, three, three, one, two, three minute video about one little golden nugget that you shared on this webinar and posting it on Facebook, you are not building a business. Period. Okay. So when people say, uh, I don't know what to talk about in my videos, well, now you have an idea. Go get your books, go get your DVDs. I got a million, a million. I mean, I could literally sit here and show you the gazillion things that I have for days, for days. Okay, golden gold bars in here that I can learn a little thing. Look, at this is Ray Higgins, The Power of Mind, right? I got this for free when I joined his coaching program. Um, I could go in here, listen to his DVDs, boom. I have content probably for a whole year, okay? <laughs> because that's just the way you have to build your business. You have to build your business with learning, right? So I might go through his his first 90 days, right? I may go through his first 90 days DVDs and I may learn something that I didn't know before that is going to advance my business into the future, right? We talked about future thinking, right? If I'm learning something in these in these products that I have that I'm buying, that I'm winning, whatever, right? Oops, I just got my team. If I'm doing that, then first of all, two things happen, right? Number one, I'm working on my personal development and I'm also creating value to myself. And number two, if I'm spitting it out in a video or a blog post, I'm also adding value to the community. And when you add value to the community and at the end you give a call to action, whether it be to click the link below, to inbox me on Facebook, to call me or text me on my cell phone, whatever the call to action is, if you do that, if you do that, you will build a very successful, profitable business over the next 90 days and years to come if you just do that. So with that being said, that's my gold bar for the day. I am going to pass it back over to Mark. Whew. Guys, guys, Jeff. First of all, first of all, the you gave away my secret. Why would you have to do that, Lisa? This webinar that we just did, watch my content in the next week. It's going to be all from this, all from it. You're going to see me take some of Aaron's nuggets and my own personality, some of Lisa's nuggets. Everyone here, I'm taking, this is, you guys have done my job for probably a couple of months. You just have. Thank you very much. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my secret. Look at this. I picked this up the other day. Just yeah, I was walking by, I picked it up. I haven't opened it yet. Entrepreneur magazine. If I'm stumped, what do I do? I'll just go like this. Look at an article. Strength in numbers. I just randomly open that. I'll read a paragraph. Guess what? Boom, blog post. I'm with Lisa. I have this stuff. I'm surrounded by this stuff. What do I do? <laughs> Content. That is, in my opinion, that is the key. Because I used to sit around and say, what am I going to think about? And if, yeah, you want to jump in? Hey, hey, yeah, Mark, let me just say this also, because I, I love health and wellness, too. I love reading about it. I love watching videos about it and stuff like that. I actually have a mini library right behind me of, you know, different things. Okay, different things. So if you are, let's say, in the health and wellness industry, if you just read books like this, right, like this is Toxic Relief. I had this book for a really long time, and I keep my favorite ones on my shelf, and I put the ones that are okay inside my library in my closet, but I keep my favorite ones that I like to reference to every now and then. But if I was in the health and wellness, I would read books like this, 
and just take little gold bars and share it with the community. Share all the little tips and whatever that I'm learning about toxic relief. You know, it could be it could be literally about anything. You know, what you don't know may be killing you. You know, I mean, for days, right? For days. Um, you know, taking charge of your health. Right? Like it this is what you would do. So if your passion is health and wellness, if your passion is travel, I would have a library of travel books and I would go and dig inside my travel books and create content from the things that I'm learning. Because when you create content from the things that you're learning that you like to, to read and you like to talk about and that you're into, um, you know, then then that's what it is. If you were like a yoga person, right, person who's into yoga and meditation, you better have a library of yoga and meditation books so that you can spit it out and create content and then give a call to action for people to join whatever it is that you're joining or get freebies or whatever it is that you're offering. So just want to throw that out there. Absolutely. And what I find, Lisa, is that when I read something and I, I, I absorb it because I'm reading it, I get it, I'm learning, but when I actually spin out the content myself, it's like a double reinforcement, right? It's like you're double learning. It really is. Like I'll learn a tip about, I love detox stuff. I really, I'm into that too. And when I read about like, I don't know, the greens, a whole article on kale, let's say. I'll read it. I'll be like, how cool is that? But I made a video on kale the other day. And because I recited it and I said it out of my mouth, and I rewatched it, it was like, it's like self-development while producing content, right? Yeah. Can I just say one thing, Mom? Yes. What I do is I have two different books with me. Whenever, if I'm doing a webinar or whatever, I have my content book with me. So when I hear something that I think other people in the industry want to know about, I write it down. I have another one for videos, like, oh, this would be a, fabulous video topic so I'll write it down in my video book so I have two different content books with me at all times whether I'm watching a training a webinar reading a book whatever it is I got my I even have a notebook in my purse so if somebody messages me a question or an issue they were ha or having and it's going to help a whole bunch of people not just that person I'll write it down in my book and go okay there's a video not only am I helping that person but I'm helping everybody else as well so I, I've got little books for content ideas absolutely everywhere. You never run out of content that way. If you write it down when you think of it, put it in a book. It's, a, it's almost like this industry, if you know how to do it, like you should after listening to all these leaders here. Specifically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out to Lisa again because that nugget about content, it's almost like you were given a business that's, kind of easy if you know how to do it because the content is everywhere like okay you know I'm not going to keep everyone here much longer and I'm not doing the QA guys here's what I'm going to do instead I'm going to go one by one to the leaders and they're going to give you the information where you can get in touch with them directly okay just get with them contact them they're going to give you their info, and I'm also going to pop it up in the replay, so you're going to get all the links here. So we're going to start with Michael, man. Come on out, Michael, please. Hey, can you hey, hear me? How, yeah, how can people get in touch with you, Mike? Well, you can go to my blog post, which is uh, Michael MichaelDPendleton.com. Awesome, buddy. Thanks for coming okay. out. We all appreciate you. I know it. Your nuggets were amazing, brother. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. Awesome. Now we're going to go to my L, my L1, my L, my people, my people. We're going to go to the L1. Who is the L1 again? We got L1, L2, L1, Roxanne. <laughs> Roxanne, how can people get in touch with you? Hi, Mark. Thanks. Uh, RoxanneRoder.com and Roxanne's without an E or RoxanneRoderMarketing.com. And thank you again, Mark, for this huge opportunity. And I'm sure you could tell I was so nervous because this is my first. So thank you. Kudos to you. <laughs> thank you. you. You were not nervous like I was, trust me. It's oh, not yeah. even close. Um, <laughs> by the way, guys, just the gift is coming. 
the gift is coming, and it's interesting because the gift is directly aligned with Lisa's tip, and that's totally a total coincidence. But watch, just hang tight, guys. Wait, wait, patience, patience, everybody. Next is L two Keely. How can people reach you, Keely? Um, everywhere I am Keely Raven. You can find me on my blog, KeelyRaven.com. The, the trick is my name, K E I L I Raven, just like the bird. Keely, amazing. I I didn't I knew you were educated, but you have the papers to prove it. That's pretty incredible. That's a lot of schooling. I know. I mean, I know. I I wasted a lot of my time in college and university. For oh me, it was God. different. But yeah. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. It was, it was an honor to have you on. Thank you so much. Mark. Next, member of the month, superstar, true life rock star, by the way, for those of you who don't know. She is a professional musician. Jen uh, Johnson. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jen Johnson. You can reach me. Uh, all my contact information is at my blog. It's meetjenjohnson.com. So thank you again, Mark and Lisa, Aaron, everybody. You just... I learn something new every day from you from you guys. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. I'm so grateful, so grateful. This you're awesome. You're just No, is, you're awesome. <laughs> isn't, isn't Jen a natural like celebrity? Don't you guys think? It's no. just some people have it, you know? She's just <laughs> from the day I met her. Awesome. It's funny, because, it's funny because a lot of people think, well, Jen, you sing and you're a musician, so videos are easy for you, but it, I hated talking. I used to have to like MC weddings, and oh, I hated I hated speaking. So it it was a process. So you know, there's hope for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think you got it. You got it under control now. Okay, <laughs> my fellow Canadian, Erin Birch. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, my blog is erinbirch.info, and of course, well, I've got a YouTube channel, and of course, you can find me on Facebook as well. Just plug in Aaron Birch and you will find me. Aaron, thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, you're you're not getting not to play favorites here because she is Canadian after all. But the whole comfort zone, guys, that's probably one I would take with me. Get out of your comfort zone. If you feel scared, it's actually a good thing. You know you're on the right track. When you feel scared and nervous and your body starts shaking, get in there, jump all over that opportunity. So and it's not just good for business, it's good for your entire life. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you again, Aaron. So grateful. And everyone is having me. Show them some love in the chat, guys. Come on. Come on. It's not here. But Keisha was like, come on, guys. It's the first time I hear Keisha speak, really, so I'll be tuning in. You guys are gonna be you guys should be tuning in to everybody here. Okay, Lisa, how can people get you? You're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> they can find me at lisatorresspeaks.com, and my last name is spelled T-O-R-R-E-S. lisatorresspeaks.com or asklisatorres.com. Everyone, give yourselves a hand. That was absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. This was an epic webinar. I am, um, for the record, this is going on Twitter to over a million followers forever. So the panelists on here, I promise you, you will be getting leads for life. I'm going to embed your links. You're good to go. Now, the free gift. The free gift. Okay, guys. Do not, um, I want you to realize how valuable this is, this is that I'm going to give you right now, what I'm going to give you right now. Lisa left with content. Good quality content is the key. That's the key. If you don't have good quality content, I don't care how many degrees you have, I don't care how much money you have, if you're not helping me through your content, you're nothing to me. I'd rather follow someone with zero dollars in the bank and quality content than someone who's rich and they, his stuff doesn't mean anything to me. So this webinar today, this one you're on right now, this is so jam-packed with quality content. I'll tell you what I do with these webinars. I download the raw file 
I download the raw file, I brand the crap out of it for my blog. So I got my intro telling people what they're about to see. Here's what you can expect. Goes to a capture page, then they have to fill it out and they get this with my logo everywhere. You know what that does for my business? A webinar like this? So if you guys want the raw video, you can go and grab it right now on YouTube. Knock yourselves out. I'm taking it down in two minutes. It's off. It's gone. No one's getting the raw file. The only way they're going to see it is if, if me or one of my lovely panelists here, Michael, you included, they're getting all the raw file. If you guys want the raw file so you can throw it into your software, you can brand it yourself, which will probably be one of the best pieces of content you have. You can make yourself do the intro, introducing what we talked about today. That, ladies and gentlemen, this piece of content could be one of the best pieces of content in your arsenal because you're making yourself part of it. Does that make sense? Are you guys getting that? Because I'm taking it down. I did my webinar last week. My email box exploded because people are like, well, I can't find your thing. I'm like, I took it down until it's branded, until I brand it. It's going to a capture page. I ain't giving this for free. I'm getting a damn email for this stuff. So here you go. That's the gift. If you want that gift, ah, never thought of a call to action. You know what? We'll make it very, 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 very easy. The webinar you registered for today, which was asklalonde.com slash webinar, go back there, register for next week, which is next Sunday, 2 p.m. I don't know what the topic is, but register for that now. I'm going to send you all the raw file. So go to asklalonde.com slash webinar. There's my call to action. If you're in, if you're registered for next Sunday's webinar, you don't have to show up, but uh, I would if I were you. I would really, I really would. It's a no-brainer. It's an email. So, with all that being said, oh, I'm going to say something here. I'm going to say something. Nah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that working for curiosity? Probably not, right? Who wants to know what I'm thinking? Lisa and I are going to be doing something. Hey. Lisa and I are going to be doing something together in the near future, probably August, September. So uh, that's all for now. That's all for now. Get ready. It's going to be the biggest thing I've ever done. Yep. Um, it's, it, well, Lisa, are, they going to be, are, are their worlds going to be rocked in August, September? Totally, and it's actually going to be in September. So, guys, that's all. I'm yeah. Totally rocked. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's if they want to start getting more sales in their business. I don't know who wants to do that, but if you do, then yeah, your your world will get rocked. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, guys, you know what? I'm gonna cut it. We went an hour and a half. QA. Just ask the people themselves. You got their info. Register for next week. Askalalonde.com. A S K L A L O N D E dot com slash webinar and you'll get the raw file you could brand it yourself panelists thank you guys love you guys i'll see you on social media okay bye everybody bye thank you bye bye thanks mark take care everyone bye, mark. thank you everyone thank you. bye guys thanks mark see you guys <laughs>